And what I'd like to share with you today are five vignettes on how you can get results. And is, uh, is Joe in the house, Joe Polizzi? I thought I saw him. Well, anyways, it's also how you can get kissed by Joe as well. I think he's going to promise that to you. Um, these are things we did, uh, things we implemented, and they helped us improve our processes. So first, hire makers, not managers. Now, this is the story of an overworked man or woman, as many of you are. I know we all are, are sometimes overworked. In my case, I was working 70, 80 hours a week, and I was still the bottleneck. Now, I've been blessed by having a lot of mentors in my life. And um, Years ago, one of my mentors, a guy who brought me on to run a software company's marketing division, gave me one piece of advice when I started. He said, whatever you do, don't be the bottleneck. When you're the bottleneck, your entire process stops. And that's exactly what I was becoming, which is the absolute, for me, the worst thing to be as a manager. This is what my brain looked like. Um, I was managing a chaotic mess of coders and writers, medical illustrators, videographers, et cetera, et cetera. And it was a jarbled mess. And a human can only sort of manage so much in our limited brain capacity. Now, I was absolutely burning out. Uh, you know, add to that, I, we just had our third kid, and it was absolute chaos in our world. This is what it looked like with me and my manager. So you'll notice there's still the exact same amount of tasks, but it's organized at this point. So my manager was able to help me organize the structure and make sure everything flowed smoothly. But the challenge when you're dealing with a small team is a manager is not helping you reduce the amount of work you have. So even though everything was organized, it was still the same amount of work. And so I recalibrated, and I, I switched strategies and brought a maker in. And what I mean by a maker is someone else who is able to write and edit and take photographs and do the tasks that are involved in marketing. And when my maker came in, I was able to split some of the tasks over. And while it was still a little chaotic, we were able to produce twice as much. And for me, most importantly, I was able to switch from being reactive uh, at a, as a standard to becoming proactive and to switch from being just tactical and constantly just taking care of the tactical jobs. And in fact, my job when I was hired was uh, associate director of tactical marketing. Um, and I was able to switch from being tactical to being tactical and strategic. And that was absolutely the most important shift I made because that enabled us to try more and new things and build other ways to do uh, more with less. Okay, two what to outsource and what to do yourself. So we're a small team, we've got a limited budget, and we've got to carefully pick what we send out and what we keep in. And uh, one of the tasks I had was making those decisions at each uh, step in the way. Now there's some simple ones, uh, you know, if you need specialized expertise, no problem. You know, here uh, I need a videographer to film uh, the replacement of an endotracheal tube. No problem, I'm not gonna do it myself. Uh, so we brought in a specialized expert. You need coders, you probably don't know coding, you're gonna bring in an expert. Uh, another time is when you're doing a quick, quick sprint or really ramping up for a specific project. Uh, in this case, we brought a um, tattoo historian and a dermatologist together to talk about skin. And it was a big event and we really need to scale up, get extra photographers, extra people to handle uh, the workflow. Again, really simple decisions in these cases. You absolutely outsource. But how do you decide what can be outsourced when it's not that simple? of an answer. So the first thing I'd ask you to ask yourself is are you the subject matter expert in a particular topic? Um, and I hope you are in a lot of ways in your industry because you become the person who knows it more than uh, most other people. Uh, in my case, I'll give you one example where I ran into this very specifically. Uh, we had a digital agency and we were looking at outsourcing uh, keyword development to this agency. Well, we sent it to them and we said, okay, we need 25 keywords for each of these digital products and give them back to us and then we'll start doing our organic and paid strategies with it. Well, the guys came right back to me and said, okay, we don't know what your industry is enough to answer this question. And I had to tell them what those keywords were. And a lesson I learned there was if I'm the expert, if they're coming to me, then I'm gonna do it myself. Uh, again, you're a small team, you've got limited resources, you've got to very strategically pick what you're going to send out and what you're not. And when you're the subject matter expert, when they're coming to you, that's something you do yourself. Do not send that away. Number two, reduce, uh, remove the redundant. Um, 
An example in MySpace, when I switched from the manager to the maker model, uh, we found that a couple of things that used to be done really weren't as necessary anymore. Um, for example, we used to manage our budget internally. We'd watch all of our spends and, you know, every couple of days we'd look at where we were and try to make sure we were trending to stay at budget. Well, I also have a finance team that does the exact same thing. So why is my team spending our time doing that? And we quickly dumped that, got rid of that, started to round off a little more and sort of guess, you know, I mean, it's marketing. It's not, it's not surgery. You don't have to be perfect. You can be close enough. And we'd meet with our finance team once a month and make sure we were still trending the right way. And that absolutely was enough. And what that gave us was an extra 20 hours a month that we were able to spend on things where we were the experts. Um, I'm not an expert in finance. Uh, I can, my, my bank account can attest to that. Let's let the finance people deal with that. 